Welcome to the second part of modding the AMD K62 Plus into a K63 Plus and reactivating the unused 128KB of level 2 cache. If you haven't seen part 1, I would suggest you go there first, because in there I am removing the aluminum heat spreader and do some cleanup. In this video I am going to shift a resistor to unlock the level 2 cache. Spoiler alert! I have already tested the modified chip and it did indeed work. I haven't stress tested the CPU yet, but during normal operation everything seems to be working fine. If instead you're interested in a very short video version of the mod, you can see that in the video linked in the top right corner. Let's change that resistor now. You can see that I have already covered the die with Captain tape. It protects the die from heat and flux spills. I tried a hot air station first because I read that it is the easiest way to remove the resistor. And although I added fresh solder, it didn't really work for me. The longer I pointed the nozzle of the hot air station at the resistor, the more uncomfortable I got. The purple ceramic is absorbing a lot of heat, but a big solder blob finally did the trick. And I feel it is the easiest method, especially if you don't have the best equipment. By the way, I am not an expert when it comes to soldering. In all my previous videos and until now I'm using a very old soldering station from Vela. Sometimes pictures do say more than a thousand words. Therefore the next part shows the reassembly of the AMD K62 Plus. Or should I rather say the AMD K63 Plus?
What a relief, the project was successful. You can see that the CPU now has a total of 256 kilobytes of level 2 cache. That is double from what it had before. To conclude this video, I want to run a few checks under MS-DOS. The first tool I want to show is Beatsus, because it shows the difference in level 2 cache graphically. I did record the test before the modification. Have a look at the graph and see the difference between the cache speed drops. It is clearly visible that the K63 Plus drops at 256 kilobytes. The K62 Plus drops much earlier at 128 kilobytes. I also ran some more benchmarks, but I couldn't notice a difference between the CPU before and after the mod. I think I would have to run some proper gaming benchmarks to notice a difference. Well, that will come in a future video. I hope you enjoyed this project and let me know if you have a good idea how to test this extra cache. I still have one more identical, non-modified K62+, which we can use as a reference.